morning, everyone. My name is Alani Connor, and today I'm here to perform a poem written by me and my fellow classmates at American History High School in North New Jersey. <laughs> being taken away and captured, I'm being dragged onto a ship across the water. Where are they taking me? Where is my tribe? As I scream, a man with clear skin and beaded eyes, he gleams at me. He looks at me, then strikes me straight across my face. What does he visualize me to be? I can't, I can't move. It took days and days to get to my new home. All them long nights of crying and all of that pain, it just suddenly went away. When I got off, they told me I was in North America. Where is that? I said to myself. Then, then to be placed in a home with people who looked just like my captures, where they told me how to read and how to write. All the lessons that the Whitley family taught me, they encouraged me and gave me hope to be what I am today. This is how I became the first African-American poet, Phyllis Whitley. Woo!